Hey guys, 36 week baby bump date. Welcome to Anderson Lane. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe down below and leave us a comment so we know who you are. Let's dig in. Alright, so I did this video in two parts. One is the day that I turned 36 weeks. I happened to have a doctor's appointment exactly on that day. So I thought I would show you exactly what happened then. And then we'd go in a little bit more. Okay, 36 week checkup. We are just at the doctor's office. I don't think it's quite open yet because I think I'm the first person of the day. Hopefully everything's well with the baby. And I'm gonna ask some questions about this and flu shots and that kind of thing before the baby gets here so hopefully it goes well today we'll see so I was right the baby is head down and dropped he said he is definitely got his head down and ready um, they didn't actually check my cervix today and because he's not super worried because this is my third baby um, we scheduled for two weeks out so if I don't have the baby before then we will meet the week before I'm scheduled for the induction and the other thing is is he actually scheduled the induction with the hospital so I'm going to pre-register today and get all that stuff done and I uh, got a flu shot he said that my cold he thinks is really pregnancy rhinitis which I kind of thought anyway I've just never had it this bad he's like it's kind of bad that you've got the head cold and everything, but it's better for you to get the flu shot and get that taken care of before baby gets here, especially where we're in kind of a time crunch now. Um, I told him that I feel like I draw, I walk like John Wayne, and he laughed. He's like, hmm, I've never heard that one before, but yeah, I can see it. And they did my um, strep B culture. I should find out about that in a couple of days and see if I need to be on a, any medication when we have the baby or not. Other than that, I am exhausted today, you guys. I did not sleep well last night. I'm so tired. I about fell asleep waiting, and I didn't wait for very long, so. But um, everything is good. Baby looks good. His heartbeat was good. Um, yeah, so that's good news. 21 days. Here we go. Okay, so at 36 weeks, the baby is supposed to be the size of romaine lettuce. I think that's lengthwise. Um, he's about 18 and a half inches long, weighs about 6 pounds, which I can tell. As you saw before, the doctor said he was had dropped, and now that it's a little bit further in this week, I think he's dropped even more. Like, I literally walk like John Wayne. The baby right now, he's starting to lose that um, vernix caseosa, the white stuff over his skin. Um, it's starting to come off and he's starting to actually ingest that and that's what that myconium, the first poops that they have when they are born, is made of. So he's doing that and getting ready to come out, which is so exciting. So because the doctor is going to induce me at 39 weeks, I just have three weeks left if he doesn't come before then. I did end up getting a flu shot and I did end up kind of getting a little sick. I just was really, really tired and exhausted. If it goes the same way that it has been, I really feel like the baby will come earlier than the 14th. Um, I don't know why, but I just have that feeling, especially after Saturday and Sunday. I'm just hoping we can make it to past 37 weeks. If we make it past 37 weeks, make it past Halloween, then we should be good. He can come after that. Um, I have done even more nesting, which is crazy. I am officially only one step away from being completely done with everything for baby to come here. We are set to go. He can actually come. I've changed the sheets on the bed downstairs. So if we need anybody to come and stay with the kids, if we happen to go in overnight, it's ready. The whole house is clean and staying clean. 
yeah, everything is ready. I am feeling so much better. My cold, it's still there. The doctor said it's probably just all gonna go away after the baby gets here, but I feel so much better. I feel like it's out of my chest. I can actually kind of sleep. Now the problem is though, I still have really, really, really bad um, pregnancy-induced carpal tunnel in my right arm. My thumb actually has like a tendonitis in it where I can actually push on a place on my arm and it will send a zing up my thumb because it presses on that tendon. So hopefully that goes away too and I don't need any surgery. I talked to somebody this weekend where she had to actually have surgery after her pregnancy because her tendonitis didn't go away completely. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that doesn't happen. But between that <laughs> and my hips being so sore, if I lay on my left side, which you're supposed to, my hip it hurts, it just hurts constantly, it aches. So I try to sleep on that for as long as I can and then I switch over to my right side, which switching in your bed is not so easy. I did hear somebody say, buy satin sheets and a satin um, nightgown and then you'll be able to move really freely. I haven't done that, I'm not gonna do it, but it's a good tip, I guess, it probably works. And then I switch over to my right side and my shoulder gets pinched and I get numb in my hands, but it's not like a, just a numb numb, it like hurts numb. So I do that for as long as I can and then I usually get up and go to the bathroom and give my body a little bit of a break and then try it all over again. But we are in for the last little bit. I'm excited about the countdown. I'm just excited. I'm excited for him to get here. I'm excited to be done being pregnant. I'm excited to meet him and to see him and to bring him home and to get into the holiday season. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. Leave us a comment and let us know how you guys are doing down below. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye.